friends. Today I want to share a handful of books about gratitude and being thankful. Uh, it's such a good uh, little mini character lesson that you can do with your children to explain what gratitude and thankfulness really is. Um, and how to practice it every single day because science is starting to show us that when you're thankful and grateful, then you end up being a happier person. So um, starting with the top book, I love this book. This is, a, and it's won an award. It's a Caldcott Honor book. Um, and it is about a woman who, an older woman who, in fact, I think uh, it says here, there's a reader note that Amu is the Igbo term for queen. Um, and it has really cool illustrations too. There's a texture to them. Um, but she makes this wonderful soup and the smell goes through the neighborhood. And so people in the neighborhood start to visit her. And because she's kind, she shares. Well, by the end of the night, when she plans on eating her own soup, there is none left. But everyone she shared with ends up doing something special. And I'm not going to tell you because that's not what I do. I like you to go get the book from your library or to buy it and to read it yourself. But it ends up just showing not only being grateful, but how we can show someone in return that we are grateful for what they did to us. So it's a really good book and a very good cultural book as well. Um, a couple of simple books are this one, um, Look and Be Grateful. This is just really good for really young kids. So those preschooler ages um, about things that we can be grateful for. I'm gonna kind of start at the beginning here. So there's not a lot of words here. Open your eyes and look. And it just starts at the beginning of the day, for today is today, about a really simple introduction to gratitude for everything that you see. Um, and really simple illustrations to just kind of kick off and get that conversation started about even the, the vocab and the terms for really young kids. So it's more of a conversation starter. Um, this one, again, some people, love Todd Parr and his work. Eric Carlo is the same way because they have very distinct illustrations and some people aren't as big of a fan. I think I think that once you get used to them, you can really embrace the beautiful illustration and just how relatable it is to kids. I mean, the colors are, are amazing. And um, I love that the illustrations are so grounded and down to earth for young children. You know, it's, it's not something that they're like, oh my God, I could never color or draw that well, when most kids probably could with a little bit of effort. So this is just all the things that you can be thankful for. I'm thankful for vacations because I get to see new people and places. And I just list all the things that are relatable to kids of what they can be thankful for. And it starts to show them what basically that dialogue in their head and practicing gratitude and thankfulness is really like is just saying those things to yourself. Instead of focusing on the bad things, you th focus on the things that you're grateful for or thankful for. So The Thankful Book by Todd Parr is a favorite of mine. Um, thankful does a little bit of the same thing going through the neighborhood and saying what different people might be thankful for. That based on what your experience is in a, mo in a moment or what you do for a living, what you're grateful for might be different. There's like a waitress, so she's grateful for comfortable shoes. And um, yeah, the local reporters for interesting news. The gardener's thankful for every green sprout. So it just goes through and says, but the children for a morning story time, they're thankful for a morning story time. And of course the illustrations are adorable. And, and again, it's these are great books for young children. It's not overwhelming. The longest book here is actually probably this Franklin's Neighborhood. And it's not a gratitude book directly, but he, for a school project, he has to decide on what's his favorite place in his neighborhood. And then he has to kind of talk about it and share that. 
and he's having a hard time because there's so many wonderful places and he starts to realize all the wonderful things in his neighborhood. <laughs> um, and then it's kind of a little surprise at the end of what he actually ends up picking, which is, which is what I really love about this book, but it really is about gratitude. Um, but this is a little bit of a longer book, but I really like the Franklin books. I think they're, they're great. They have animals that are personified and, and they're like people, which I find that children just usually really love and the illustrations are nice and they're really relatable topics. So there's this one. And then the last one here is My Heart Fills With Happiness. And again, this isn't, she's not saying the words thankful or grateful, but she's saying the things that make her feel joyful and happy within her heart, which I think are sometimes the same thing, right? Um, so it's just another way of saying it. And so you're giving your child more dialogue of how they can say these things to themselves. I spell Bannock baking in the oven. My heart fills with happiness when I feel the sun dancing on my cheeks. Yeah, so it's, it's simple and this is a, a bilingual book. So these are some of my favorites. Uh, for gratitude and thankfulness. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at myteentangerine.com.